Hey Gemini, welcome. This read is for you. So let's go ahead. We're going to get started with uh, these fortune cards. We'll let the universe pick one for us. That's going to start set the tone for your read today. All right, universe. So what energy is Gemini going to be dealing with today? What do you got to say to Gemini? Give us a sneak peek about what this read is about. I'm going to deal with love, money, you got some warnings, some affirmations, some guidance or wisdom. What do you got going on for Gemini? And these ones are going sideways. So I'm going to grab the top one off of it. So I have wish. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. So that's a good way to start the read. So wonder what this wish is. Is this love? Is this career? So universe, we can just carry on keep building on this wish card for gemini what are we going to be talking about today what does gemini need to know about this wish what part of the, their life is this wish about i feel like that one wanted to flip on me so let's see what it was so it's great and full this card represents uh, being grateful for all the wonderful things that you do have in your life and bearing fruit, which represents something positive coming your way. Ooh, a powerful move. A merry motive. And a tall tale. I feel like this powerful move is actually tied into bearing fruit. Is something good coming your way. I feel like it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to make a move. opportunity to make a move towards a goal towards a, a wish something you're going to be extremely grateful for i have the power of purpose waking the lion sacred reverence the land between and opening to discovery i feel like that land between um is also tied into opening to discovery the land between tends to speak to a transitional time and I think this transitional time is your opening to this wish, is this opening to this powerful move, this thing, this great thing that's going to be coming into your life. What is this? I feel like it's going to be empowering as well with this waking the lion. Um, I feel like it's time to an ambition with this power of purpose and the lion. What is this thing? All right, universe, let's keep Keep going here. So I have the Eight of Pentacles, which represents learning. And the Lover's card. But also the Devil card as well, which can speak to a destructive force in your life. What is this destructive force? I don't know that this is tied into romance, this destructive force. Feel pulled towards that motive too, that merry motive, maybe examining your motive or somebody else's motive. Uh, I do have the four of wands, which represents setting a solid foundation for a happy home life and the page of pentacles, which speaks of good news on the way and pentacles does tend to represent a finance. I have the Page of Swords, which represents delayed or disappointing news. I feel like it's speaking to something delayed. Because I feel like we're in transition. I feel like there is something coming your way, though. Uh, the Seven of Swords can represent a situation which you felt was unfair. I feel like that's about to change. That's what this change is, us tying into that Devil card. And the delayed news. Something was taken from you unfairly. There's something that's unfair, but it's about to get evened out because I have the Wheel of Fortune card, which represents your fortunes changing for the better, as well as the Nine of Cups, uh, which speaks to abundance and cups is all about happiness. So I see happiness. I see success coming your way. The, that wish being granted. 
Now, high priestess uh, speaks to, to me, a spirituality and your intuition. I feel like it's also speaking to trust, trusting in the universe um, that things are going to be evened out. You know, I feel like it ties into a lie. So I have that tall tale card, and I've, I've felt a different vibe off of it from my other reads, but for this one, I feel like it speaks to a dishonesty, and it speaks to that unfairness, and I feel like the motive card next to it is tying to somebody's motive being exposed, and that's where this fairness is going to come from, is when this person's real motive is exposed. And I feel like the rewards that you get from that... Because I feel like that's going to cause a chain of events. It's going to cause something coming your way, which is going to give you that wish or the means to obtain that wish. Uh, the Nine of Wands represents working towards a goal over time. It tells me that I feel like this has been going on for a long time. I have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords speaks of truth. I was stuck between two queens. I have the Queen of Wands on one side and the Queen of Pentacles on the other. And I get two different energies off them. I don't feel like they're the same person. So I wonder if this doesn't tie into... If this doesn't tie into... The lie. And the motive that we're maybe finding out. The Strength card to me represents inner strength. Um, it's like waking that lion. I feel like it speaks to a drive to find the truth too. To get down to the bottom of things. I feel like it also ties into your purpose and finding truth. Yeah, I have the Queen of Swords here and the Queen of Swords speaks of truth it speaks of clarity next to the two of pentacles which represents balance i feel like it's going to bring things back into balance it's going to create a fairness here the seven of cups represents options weighing your options carefully and the seven of wands speaks of uh, taking back control drawing your line in the sand i think it all speaks to finding out Finding out about this lie, finding out about somebody's motive, somebody's ulterior motive. I feel like somebody's motive is greed with that Queen of Pentacles. Pentacles tends to speak to money. So it's a greed, greed, ambition. But I feel like in the end, you're going to be the one who benefits. Uh, the Ace of Cups represents a new beginning. So this is going to be a new beginning for you. I feel like it's also going to give you the means to a new beginning. Because I feel like there's going to be money coming from this. the king of pentacles here i don't uh, i don't feel like he's being honest with anybody oh that might be what that means i don't think he's being honest about his past i think he's got a few people on the go here I have the Six of Cups, which represents the past. The Ten of Wands, which represents feeling overwhelmed or overburdened. Uh, I, I, think there's, I think there's multiple people that he's got on the line here. The Five of Wands uh, speaks of conflict. And a lot of conflict. The Moon card represents things that are still unknown to us. I think it's the gravity of this untruth is still unknown. I think you're only going to uncover part of it. I think it's even beyond that. But I, you know what? I have the feeling that when you uncover this truth, you're going to be sharing it with others who are unaware of it. So I feel like um, 
Mr. King of Pentacles here is 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 in for a surprise. Because I think he's going to get it from all angles. And I feel like that's what this Five of Pentacles is speaking to. Because I could just see tons and tons of people being angry and arguing um, in that card. This wasn't just between one or two or even three people. I feel like there's more here. I feel, I feel like there's that shit storm coming when you find out what the truth is. For this King of Pentacles, one of his own making, based on his own secrets, his own lies, um, his own tall tales, I feel. I have the Eight of Wands, which speaks of a swift change, the Justice card, which speaks of um, balancing the scales, but I also see uh, legality in it. I see something with the court system here. And I see it tied to the king. I don't see it tied to you. I see it tied to this king. He's got one hell of a surprise coming. Uh, the Hierophant here, to me, speaks of uh, two things. He speaks of a higher learning. I feel like he's speaking to that clarity, uh, that part truth that you're going to uncover. Um, I feel like he's also speaking to an institution, which is tying into this court as well. But this untruth is, like I said, I feel like this is going to be bigger. I feel like you're going to, once you uncover it, you're going to connect with one of these other queens to share it. Who's going to connect with another queen? I feel like he's got a big big shitstorm happening. Uh, the Empress card to me is all about taking back control of your life. It's, it's about empowerment. It's about looking after yourself and your own interests, your own heart, your own soul, and your own mind. I feel like something that's going to happen uh, within this is actually going to open up a door for you to obtain a wish. You're going to get something out of this that, that isn't just being pissed off or a heartbreak or a disappointment. I feel like there's more to it. I feel like there's a benefit. I feel like that's where that wish card is coming into play. That's where that's where this this bearing fruit is coming from. There's something good coming out of this for you. Um, I'm gonna pull a few more cards. I just wanna know what's coming. So I have the Three of Swords, which does represent heartbreak. Uh, the Four of Cups represents an indifference. And I feel like it's speaking to this, this King of Pentacles. You can see he's got multiple cups there and doesn't seem to care about any of them. The Two of Wands represents choosing a path. And I feel like that speaks to you and your choice. And the Eight of Cups represents a bright new journey forward. I feel like the fruit is this future. This... This situation that you're going through is going to be a catalyst. It's going to be a catalyst for a bright new future. And that's the fruit that you're going to bear. That's that wish that's going to come true. Mm, something that you're going to get from this is going to give you all the tools that you need to be successful in life. This is, whatever this is, this is going to set you up for success. And I have the Three of Pentacles, which represents uh, starting to see the fruits of your labor. So again, bearing fruit, that, that benefit coming quite quickly, the hanging man represents. The only thing that can po possibly hold you back from success is you. And I feel like it speaks to, it speaks to emotions, it speaks to healing, it speaks to hanging on to any kind of negativity or anger towards this person. Uh, and the Nine of Pentacles represents happiness and abundance. I feel like Whatever happens with this person, with this situation, there's something that's coming your way. There's a vital tool in you being able to move forward and find success and find happiness in your life. All right, you guys, that's what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Uh, please do feel free to comment because I do love hearing from you guys. Uh, and remember, if you want to enter for the free read at the end of each week, you have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on one of my videos saying that you are interested. All right, you guys, take care.